What's going on? This is the official channel of the Shadow Band Man offering a different mindset when it comes to news, religion, hip hop, and politics. You know, I got these thoughts in my mind and I got to get them out. Do you understand what I'm saying? So listen, I'm getting ready to talk about America today. That's right. Man, when I think about America, I think, hmm, who are you? Who is America? What is America? Because what I notice is that people keep buying into the ideology of America. What does America represent? Now, it said that, you know, America is the land of the free. It represents opportunity. It's the home of the brave. It represents equality, et cetera, right? However, I'm constantly on the news, and I'm looking at Fox News, I'm looking at CNN, I'm looking at all these different networks, right? And I noticed that they have a, hmm, a different view of America based on their experience. Their experiences in America, I guess, have been great because they speak as if America is the good parent that always take care of its children. But that's simply not the reality. When has America taken care of its own people? When? When has it repaired its own people? Now, eventually before this land was named America, what happened to make it become America? Some individuals came here under disguise, under the guise of friendship, acting like everything was all good, right? Then they worked and etched out a plan to destroy all of the indigenous people who were in these lands. So eventually they almost decimated and destroyed, killed, raped, murdered, all of the original people in this land took the land over, did what they wanted to do. Then after they became the dominant factor in the land, then they started what making people whole according to their standard. So now after they made these people whole, you know, put them on reservations and stuff, what, ha what has happened? When the Japanese came here, what happened? They put them in concentration camps, right? Hmm. When the Africans were transported here, what happened? They enslaved them, right? Now, what kills me, I'm, getting, I'm jumping all around in this video, but what kills me, but I'm going to bring it back home, I promise. But what kills me is that you keep buying it into this American dream. It's like, what? when are you going to wake up? When are you going to wake up? You keep buying into this American dream like everything is sweet out here. Everything is all good out here. They let the tell lie vision tell you something and you just automatically believe it. You teach your children the lies that they telling you. And you think that's okay. Got these children think some man outside of the earth looking down on people like, mm, no, 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 you can live, you can die. You give these children a falsified mental picture of reality and then expect them to go into the world and live reality. You've been feeding them a lie every day of their life. America, when will you wake up? When have you looked out for your own people? When? I'll wait forever because it's not what you do. Conquest is what you do. That's the name of America. It's all about conquest. They act like it's about a free market and about capitalism. No, man, it's about conquest. They conquer the minds of people through programming. And it seems as if nobody's seeing this. I feel like I'm the only one that's seeing it. I know that I'm not. But I'm telling you, man, there's something wrong. They destroyed the natives, right? 
They destroyed people that look like this to the point where you don't know your name. You don't know your religion. You don't know your culture. You don't know your traditions. Any and everything that made you who you are, you don't even know. And, and this is where it's good. You don't even care. They programmed you not to even care about anything of your identity. I see people that look just like this and they claiming that they some Greek. You not Greek. They got these Greek letters and all this stuff on they on their body branded on them. And they willing to beat you up over it. It's like, man, what kind of trick knowledge is put into the minds of these people? I'm telling you, man, it's like you're getting brainwashed in a system and then brainwashed into another system. This systemic problem is launched through a hundred year plan, if not longer. Because I'm telling you, man, Carter Jew Woodson, when he was saying basically how you make a slave, he gave intricate details. And it seems as if we have been programmed to be a program that's a program. And it's like we don't even know it, we don't think about it, and we don't care. They have made it where the only thing that they are okay with in these Americas is money. And then you you have to have money. This is the, the this is the logic that's fed to our brain. You have to have money because if you don't have money, then you can't do this. And if you can't do this, then you can't do this. They have created robots who do nothing but chase one thing to get another thing. And then they chase that other thing to get another thing. I'm telling you, man. But I got on to talk about how America does not take care of its children. You create problems. And then you don't take care of the problems that you create. That's what I mean by you don't take care of your children. Your children are your problems. They're not actual children. But you don't take care of your problems. They send trillions of dollars. Where did they say to the Ukraine for their tragedy? Look, I'm in Houston. Listen, man. People, I'm talking about 20, 30 homeless people living under one bridge. You got what I'm saying? They got money for wars but can't feed the poor. I'm just saying. This is what Pac said. This is over 20 some years ago. I think we had 30 years ago. They got money for wars but can't even feed the poor. You can send trillions of dollars somewhere else but can't help nobody here, huh? Oh, okay, I get it. I get it. You can give the Japanese reparations after World War II. You can give the Jewish people reparations. Everyone else can be repaired, right? You can put the process of repairing for everyone else, except the ones that look like that. Because the ones that look like that does it matter, right? You know, I once saw this gigantic diamond. It looked like the size of a pear. And it was in England. And what they were saying was that it was taken out of Africa, right? But it wasn't purchased got me it's crazy that you see all these african artifacts right all around the world not in africa but all around the world everyone takes everything they drain the natural resources out of africa all day every day if you don't know have you ever heard of cold tan you ain't never heard of refined cold tan yeah i'm saying do some research on what cold tan is and you'll see, like I said, man, they take all the resources. 
They drain you dry. Look who's the, what makes the most money in America? Sports, right? Who dominates sports? What makes the most money in America? Medicine, right? Who gets sick the most? On every level, people like this, we dominate. Who gets um, incarcerated the most? Yeah. Now, what's crazy is when I came up, you would get seven years for a piece of crack cocaine. But your counterpart wouldn't even get six months for cocaine. And cocaine is just known that it's stronger than crack cocaine. But the demographic that has cocaine in comparison to crack cocaine was completely different. You got what I'm saying? So a more lethal drug was given less time than the less lethal drug. Seven years for a rock, for a piece of crack cocaine, but then an ounce of cocaine, six months. You got me. See, it's all about the demographics. So I, I use that example to say, listen, on every level, you dominate. You dominate the prison system. You dominate sports. You dominate as the most sick. And no one cares. When are you going to start caring? When are you going to wake up? When are you going to have some personal accountability? Because you already see nobody cares about you. No one. When are you going to care? Because you're getting told and taught not to care on any level. I'm telling you, man, if you don't stay focused, then you can't stay safe. And if you don't stay safe, then you'll never be able to support the hood because you can't see all of the problems that are going on in the hood. And you won't be able to trace those problems to the origin because all these problems didn't originate from, from us. But we are the burden bearers of those problems. It's just how it is, man. America need to really wake up. When have you cared about your people? Won't you start live your dream? That's what you should do. Shadow Band.